Uh, McKay, you're doing one of these weird things where it's like uh, you're you're conscious, you're unconscious, you're conscious, you're like kind of the. It's it's almost like you're coming up above water, just catching the glimpse, and then sinking back down. Yeah. And you see a couple of frantic people. They seem to be dressed in in like kind of futuristic spacesuit looking things that are kind of off white. And one of them looks like the guy whose head exploded when he was trying to tell you something. And he's like, we have to get him into the next tube. The other one's taking too much damage. And the lady's like, but without him, he won't, we're not going to be able to fix the engines. And he goes, damn it, unless we get him, unless we don't get him into the other tube, he's going to die. And the lady's like, all right, bring him under in three, two. And then you hear like a click and then kind of fuzzes out for you. Um, meanwhile, uh, Um, Corey, you are uh, currently standing on top of a uh, some sort of strange, large step pyramid. You okay. are surrounded by thousands of uh, uh, topless women who are all chanting. They begin throwing pickles at you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Meanwhile, I am your benevolent god. <laughs> Thank you, card Corey. <laughs> you know, Chris, hmm. I uh, you are uh, seeing like a it looks like a, a really super electric blue sky, very green grass, a white unicorn, blood coming from its eyes that's screaming and running off, galloping off, and. All of a sudden, the entire scene just tears outward like paper. And you guys are all uh, together sitting in the uh, embassy, looking at each other across a small table with various cigars and alcohol and things like that out on it. Aww. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Good to see you all again. Hmm. I was having the most fantastic dream. I don't know why. <laughs> How about you all? Wow, look, the embassy. Woohoo! Um, it's been a while since I've been back here. Yeah, so I was having a strange, well, I don't know if it's a dream or reality, actually. I don't know. Saw a white unicorn, bleeding eyes, running off into the distance. Well, that sounds like stuff Freddy's been seeing. I saw oh. thousands of topless women worshipping at a pyramid. I saw people in spacesuits on a few talking about putting me under and fixing the engines or something. Well, blah. Anyway, um, but let's go to my dream then. <laughs> well, the interesting thing about it is that. Um, one of the people in my dream ran up to that window over there the last time we was here and said, McKay, McKay, you got to wake up. you got to wake up. you got to get out of the coma and some other stuff. And he was then shot and his head exploded. Mm. He told you you had to wake up out of the coma mm -hmm. or, here? Or it'll be – I think he said something along the lines of you got to wake up um, – you got to wake up out of the coma, or or it'll become perm, and then he said exploded. Mm. As the Heath Ledger Joker shot him in the head. You can hear distant gunfire just as he says that. I seen that Joker guy. Hmm, he's annoying. Yeah, I the last actually uh, the last time I woke up, uh, I was not in actually my own body. I was in another person's body. It's, the sporadic gunfire dies away. So that could support our dream theory that we're a dream within a dream within a dream. Yeah, or a virtual reality. I spin a top real quick, Logan. Mm. Calm down, though, Pan. <laughs> it, spinning. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Does it stop spinning? 
Ah, I don't know. Give me an essence roll. Lower is better. Essence. That would be a basic stat, right? Yeah. I know this game. <laughs> <Let's roll. laughs> yeah, just hit the essence times five button and uh, fumble. Cool. No problem. I'll get back to you when it stops. Uh -huh. You see Fulton over there going. <laughs> and McKay's just laughing and shaking his head. All right. Uh, you hear uh, running heavy footsteps coming this way. <laughs> the door bursts open. Several rhino-headed guards rush in, surround McKay, look around warily. There's no external windows in this particular room because you're in his private meeting room. They oh, okay, so it's not, the, not no. the room which had the window that overlooked Freddy's um, doghouse. No. They... they uh, Search around, and they say, they look closely at him. Yeah, you so are I'm Joshua sure. McKay. Right. What was the gunshots? Uh, some guy was doing stuff, so we shot at him. Yeah, green hair. Oh, he's back again, wasn't he? What Not was anymore. He? We'll be right outside. The, what, what the right guy looks at you guys really threateningly right outside. What did was did you kill him? Uh, no, he was he was trying to uh, uh, plant explosives on the wall, but we have extra patrols and stuff. Good, good. Um, Fulton, give me an intimidation roll. <laughs> right outside. <laughs> he stops outside and slams the door. And then he realizes what he did. He opens the door. He goes, looks at the ambassador. Sorry, go on. And closes the door softly. Sorry. So why don't we make money by slaughtering all the rhinos and like just using their ivory from their horn and like taking it like to Shermer and selling it and then as, that a, be a good idea? as a male we enhancement actually, elixir, we don't actually have to slaughter them to harvest the horn. It's like Stephen's father always told him that rhino horn keeps powdered yeah. rhino horn. No, but if you kill them, their essence goes into the horn, and that's what makes it more powerful. So you need to mm. magic powdered rhino horn. Mm. Or they oh. say it keeps the good to keep up. the yang up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lucky oi. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I copyrighted that phrase. I shall go and pull the bell cord. Uh, <laughs> there was one other thing about the Joker that I just remembered is that while we were in the other bodies, that's where I saw him. Uh, there's a knock at the door and it opens. The but I, A butler, who is a Dora, stands mm -hmm. there and he goes, Sir? Um, could you see if um, Alwyn and Alana and Darius and Claire are available for some discussion. For a dis for right now? A discussion. Or if they're not available, if, when they might be available. I'll round them up. Otherwise, I can leave them a note. But anyway. I'll round them up right questions. now. Thank you. Yes, so. so, yes. Uh, sorry about that. You were saying, Dr. Yang? Uh, while we were in Chicago, uh, in the other bodies, the Joker mm -hmm. character made an appearance, but he was able he was able to know who we are, regardless of the fact that we weren't in our real bodies. He had uh, Rasslin Rad was with me, and he had sent a letter addressed to Rasslin Rad to him. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was in it exactly, but he was able to discern who we were even though we didn't appear to be in our original bodies. So, so yeah, give me a give me a spot hidden roll, Yang, and if you make it a sanity roll. Sanity? Spot if you sanity. make the spot hit spot hidden, if make sanity. If fail, then don't bother with sanity. Gotcha. Spot hidden. I failed. Fine. You fa you, you fail to notice anything that disturbed you. 
So yes, the uh, the Joker is a the the individual dressed as a Joker is a Dora. Okay. And is had escaped from the psychiatric ward in the village. Okay. Does he have something against us in particular? Not sure. Yes. The butler opens the door and he says, uh, due to the number of people, would you like to uh, meet in the uh, dining room? Certainly. All right. Uh, there are some going there now. Okay. Thank you. Close the door. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Just, some, just something just I want to take care of before I forget and we get sidetracked from other things. <laughs> I get up and start heading towards the dining room. I'll follow. All right, you guys uh, cut to the dining room. Uh, everybody's sitting around that you'd requested and whatnot. Uh, give me a spot hidden roll from everybody who's not Stephen Yang. Cool. Uh, unless you guys have, um, what's it called? Uh, Paradigm? Yes. Unless you have paradigm distortion maxed out minor sand rolls, if you make it at zero. No problem. It just it shows you guys glance at uh, the table that was next to him as you close the door. It shows the thing still spinning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you guys are all in the dining room and whatnot. Yep. Okay. Everybody looks at you expectantly. They put you at the head of the table and seated everybody else in order of precedent, which means uh, next up is your kids, and then uh, the Darius and Claire, and then these guys. So, and, <coughs> and it's been, uh, oh, several guards. As we were discussing previously in regards to the alcohol and rebottling of it, and said it was boss that happy to take it on. Rosalind's going to set something up. Um, he's looking at getting setting up um, some dwellings in uh, St. Louis. Uh, so if you could, if you've got some people in mind who might be best suited to or rotational, however you want to do it. And, um, what? <laughs> so, what uh, um, we're, we're living in St. Louis now. Darius looks and, totally baffled. No, 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 no. So there's, remember, you may recall, we brought some alcohol from Shermer over here, rebottled it, ah, painted it, oh. and then, took it over to the Golden Wattle. Everybody okay. nods. And, um, Resident is looking at establishing it a bit further after some discussions I've had with him. So I'm just pre-warning you so that you can think about who you might believe might be suitable to, he's looking at setting up a building or a house or something in St. Louis. So if you've got a couple of people that, you know. Oh, do basically buy alcohol. Um, yeah. Is there something special in St. Louis? Uh, there's a Clemse. Oh. oh. All right. So we could just, do we have any money set up in St. Louis that we could buy alcohol? Resident's going to organize all of that. Okay. Um, I'm just pre-warning you so that you can think about who would be the best people to have there. You're going to be able to fit in easiest and not cause too much issue. And also, if you can let him use of one of the barber poles, as in so he can use the clems here to get um, people to St. Louis. Yes. Uh, the, the, I, you might want to check your inventory, but I think all the barber poles have disappeared except for the one that they have in super secret storage. I was told that the one that was in Burlington had been retrieved from Burlington and returned here. Ah, uh, you might want to check your your actual notes rather than going on what you're told, but they could be. So it's it's a nurse running nurse thing. All right. 
Mike, yes. Uh, uh, Claire would be happy to uh, uh, help arrange that with Darius. Uh, Owen and, and uh, your daughter look at you curiously, wondering what their purpose is here. Uh, to allow Rosalind to use the Clems in the bar as well. Oh, here? Yes, so we can get people to St. Louis. Ah, yes, that won't be a problem yet. We'll, we'll yeah. arrange that. But we're we're yeah. happy that it's not going to be open here because last time we even tried to use it, it was occupied and that, that green-haired freak uh, guy. Yeah, and the other thing that is that he is going to be doing is he's going to look at how we can better secure the um, barber's shop here so that all right sure we well, so basically give wrestling ram free hand yeah, yeah, yeah. take care of intrusion intruders etc in such a way that's not going to demolish several city blocks um <coughs> will we come up with some security for st louis as well um possibly yeah nick that's something we we need to look at as well but i'm more we don't want about, our people trapped there no no that I'm more concerned. I'm more concerned about here. Yes. Um, well, we've got the spike building now. With, but. Yeah, considering what happened with that gentleman. All right. Yes, I can see there's one barber's pole listed. So, yep. what happened to the second barber's pole? Um, they they think it was taken by some of the other doors, but they don't know whom. Okay. They think yeah. they they. Uh, uh, we blame Freddie immediately. Okay. <laughs> Sad thing is, they're probably correct. You probably are correct. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the other thing is, is that I now know how to, so sort of good news, bad news situation. I now know how to teach people shape shifting who have not walked the pattern. However, appears that I can only teach those that are known as Doris currently I'm just looking into how I can expand upon that or do something about that. Cool. They're pretty excited about that. Hmm. So that's the other thing. So whether or not yeah, so that may enable, for example, if you have those if you've got some Doras that have the appearance of elves eventually that might lead to them being out if they wish to change their appearance slightly for whatever reason. But yes, as I said, I'm going to keep looking into how I can then either teach yourselves it in one way or, the, or another. They are happy to uh, work on learning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Groups of three every day. So, yeah. yeah when, whenever you're around, if you're wanting to teach them, they're happy. Yeah, I, to. I can attempt to teach whenever I'm around. It's it may take a while because it's something I'm quite new at, but practice. Well, makes let us know when you want to teach. Uh, we'll, we'll have some. Um, I'm guessing just for spe uh, well, anybody you said, so that they can learn not to be elves at least for a while. Well, it's up, it's up to you guys who you think might be most appropriate. There might be some people that have no interest in it, or there uh, may be people you're concerned right. will abuse it. Uh, <laughs> so it's powerful and open to abuse. Well, as as you get more knowledgeable in shape shifting, you can I I could, for example, learn how to shape shift to look like you. They all kind of like look into the distance. They're like, mm. and they're imagining like a bunch of like wild elves go, I'm drunk again. And they're like, mm. hence, maybe hence. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our eyes open for potentially good candidates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Professor McKay. So yeah, keep, keep that in mind. Oh yeah. yeah! Ask him about the time he was in a wheelchair, and uh, they they yeah. shaved his head and were pushing him around, and he was like, mm, "I'm thinking hard." <laughs> After yes, I shaped it didn't go well, and I ended up with. I remember. Think, yes, actually, yes. You, I think it was the two of you. Yeah. For, in, for that incident. Yeah. So anyway, yes. So that that's that's a few things. So is there anything? 
I understand the Joker keeps turning up here. Um, well, he, he, he recently, uh, well, just now did, but uh, uh, the guards are on high alert. So, yeah, we, we, we're dealing with it. Well, if he's a Dora, why don't you just set a trap for him at the Clems? Uh, he doesn't seem to be coming in that way. Uh -huh. He appeared inside the building once, and then yes. since then he's coming other ways. So we don't know if he. Well, yeah, we don't know at, if he's um, able to shadow walk or if he knows of gates that come here. And he's or says your son if he's actually even human. Fulton, you, you haven't been able to get a good enough look at him to know if he's pattern or not? I've, I've never seen him, ever. <clears throat> and even so, I would have to, like, study him for a second. Like, It'd be funny if it was just the imagination of the other people and shit and it didn't really exist. <laughs> it was just an elaborate fuck with Fulton thing. Like Putin with a crossbow, for example. Uh, cool. So, uh, yes, uh, they they also uh, give various reports and whatnot. They begin sucking you into administrative stuff. Pete. I start putting. Mm -hmm. I like grab a cup off the table and start putting. <laughs> <laughs> give me a, a golfing roll. Uh, Dr. Uh, you. McKay, uh, we got that thing. That yes. you are late for. I think we're yes, going to be late for. Unfortunately, we don't. We don't we, I need to spend some time dealing with stuff here. Otherwise, we have issues with this place existing and us being able to use it. They have various documents for you to sign, and uh, the your grandchildren would like uh, our. All right. <laughs> It ends up uh, becoming the day. Cut to the next day. You guys have just gotten done eating a nourishing, good breakfast uh, brought by uh, uh, Foxy, who is actually a cat lady. And um, uh, she is like the kind of unofficial number three here. And mm -hmm. you can tell Pete from all the different stuff that she's being groomed to take uh, uh uh, Owen and Lana's position because they are definitely looking forward to retiring and stuff. And she, there, there's like other people that are being trained for this. And there are some, a couple of doors that just seem to like it here and they're wanting to stay, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. So uh, the fortunately, your son is smart enough to train a successor rather than saying I'm out and then leaving and everything goes to shit. So yeah, no, I thought I thought Foxy was one of the potentials. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, it, everybody's yeah. really happy with her. The only weird quirk she has is that she believes that she needs to do the cooking and they're trying to detach her from that. But what happened to, um, what's her surname? It starts with P, Mrs. Oh, I've got a complete mental blank. Excellent. You wonder about people that you can't remember. There seems to be so many of them. I'm going to play a card, group training. Ooh. Everybody Probably pick good. a skill in common that you want to do your training in. Uh, we have to have it at learn, I think. Yeah, I have to have it above, above learn. Above learn, yeah. Above learn. Yeah. I always recommend endurance. Endurance is something everybody likes like to check in. But you guys actually have enough skills you could possibly take it in something else. Whatever. I'll do endurance if you guys want. Or strength or something. There's nothing particular that you wanted? Me? Uh, nah. Mrs. Uh, Parapet. That's the name I was trying to think of. Well done. How's everybody's psychology? Don't have it above base. Oh, okay. uh, oh, sorry, I do. I do actually have it above base. My ooh. apologies. Um, Doc, I don't know. above base. Psychology? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a, a bit above. A, a, a little bit. 
Can we do that one? Or is I, that, yeah. I, I, I continue putting in front of my PhD. It's, it's on the wall. <clears throat> so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he's wanting to do psychology. Everybody grab yeah, a question. Do, that's what you do. Whatever you want. It's 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 yeah. all good. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to do psychology, we can do psychology. Yeah, cool. Um, right uh, now, how are you guys wanting to dress? And also, uh, what big pieces of gear you want to lug through life? Uh, we need to work out where we're going to go. What we're doing. All right. Let's start with clothing then while you're staying around. Or would you all like to be in bathrobes? Oh, the clothing. <clears throat> I, I'm I usually default to like my like my uh the adventuring work. clothing. No. Wow. <laughs> It'd be funny if you're always dressed like you're going out to a game of golf. <laughs> like okay, adventuring clothing for you. How is uh Yang dressed? Uh yeah, I'll uh I'll do that too. I mean basic clothing, uh but a long coat if I could please. Uh, they've got they've got fucking leather dusters for days here. I mean, yeah. the old west thing, so you can get an actual duster. Now, by the way, with the adventurer clothing, it's kind of like uh, canvasy, except it's got leather reinforcement on elbows and knees, um, and it's it's all double stitch. It's made to be tough, durable, long wearing stuff. Yeah, it looks like I'm ready to go to like Dick's Sporting Goods and shit, or like you know. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, it's the only downside is that it's kind of a whitish tan color, so it's not great for sneaking. But it's it's looks like it's made from the same kind of stuff as like sails are, which it probably is. I mean, okay. you could possibly get it colored differently somewhere if you wanted to, but nobody's really bothered with that. And how how is Pete dressed? I'm guessing man about town, 1890s London. Yeah, yeah, because it, <coughs> unless until we decide where we're going, in which case then I'll change. Um, I've, there's situations where people turn up and want to talk to me, so I need to be appropriately dressed. Somebody has put onto uh, your normal uh, waistcoat. Somebody has put a medal that you vaguely remember having received from the government here. The what? Government. The order of hair or something different? I uh, know it is the order of pair. Hmm. You don't remember wearing the medal before, but it's on all your waistcoats. You're like, okay. hmm. yeah. Apparently, uh, you've got a valet somewhere. <laughs> you look around vaguely. Um, right, you're all you're all gathered together. It's like, uh, and now you can discuss the disparity of the social economic classes. Uh -huh. Or whatever. <laughs> So, uh, what big things do we have afoot that need uh, poking at? Well, there's that object that people were attacking us and wanting, asking us to hand over that. The overthruster? Yes. There's that. There's, let me see, I put together a list of various items. That seem to be on going on and may or may not need attention. Where did I put it? Yeah, Freddie's being busy. I met a new Dora the other day. Okay. Yeah. He was uh, a little wet behind the ears, but I think he'll be fine. A new member of our group? Or a or somebody not of our group? Uh, he appears to be attuned to our group. So. Okay. So you got that feeling of knowing them, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Kind of a kind of a greenhorn that reminded me of the good old days. <laughs> uh, where was the pipe? Does anybody know what's going on in the Hong Kong? No, I haven't been there for a while. 
I, I had my trump cards that go they don't work so invested a bunch to get established there i have credentials and all that and practice over there i'm totally acclimated to it and i heard it's on fire now so yeah <laughs> seems seems legit and, you know, that's what always happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you left for a day <laughs> yeah right how God dare you damn it can right, the world so stay saved for five goddamn minutes <laughs> So from a high level, we have the Overthruster, Heath Ledger Joker, Harlequins, who are the ones who are hassling us for the Overthruster, uh, the Dora Spy, the Ice Tower and the Ice Talk Welders, Justice, Swift, uh, the MMO people that the Dwarves purchased, as in the crew and the Majors that were looking for the Source of Magic that were on the Noid Leprechaun too. Uh, the peop the person who hired the Black Briar to attack the embassy, who we have we got given a picture of, and of the fixer who was in between man, um, the closed gate between MMO land and Burlington, uh, the guy that was second in charge, possibly now in charge of China, uh, New Sun, who, and the effects he's having on Hong Kong. Uh, tarot cards, we haven't broke the seal on the most recent pack. The Patton Logris imbalance, the mark on oh, Freddy. I, I, uh, the, I, that reminds me, I heard something about that. So I heard oh, Freddy which one? really screwed up the whole uh, Logris thing. In what way? Well, I guess the place that they decided to invite everybody over to was a base that Raslin had spent a considerable amount of resources preparing for us, but now it's totally open and vulnerable to chaos. So, yeah, um, I think there was other issues besides that, as so, in yeah. local adventurers were kept turning up on the doorstep, and the last time Freddie was there, a group of them had actually made a past the minefield inside. So Raslin's base wasn't particularly secret as local adventurers kept trying to get in. Okay. Um, How is talks with Logers going? Do we not know? So I've had a couple of discussions with some Courts of Chaos people. Because um, <clears throat> we rescued, we saved somebody from the house of Halgram. And so I got given a trump card of another member of the house of Helgram, so like some guy who's a lieutenant or something um and mean of contacting them so myself alex kinley and freddie then went to courts of chaos and had a brief discussion with them and then they noticed something weird on freddie so we then went to another place um some sort of mark or something on freddie that we assume allows people to track him <laughs> Um, because the uh, after he killed Benedict's son, um, they seemed to be able to find Freddy. A knew it was Freddy, even though there was nobody else around besides us. And B had a picture of him and knew to, knew to find it. He basically had a, some squires turned up at the embassy asking after Freddy. Mm. And knew he was here. Well, so, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you kill Benedict's son and yeah, then his squire so yes, because it's yeah. good for yes the universe yes freddie was unfortunately lost or did do you know if they ever got his armor back i know they i was with them when they got part of it back did they ever give it back to benedict or no do you know uh we didn't touch his armor we just took his sword R right right oh so <clears throat> Um, I, um, the other day I was in Shermer and, you know, in the, in the other body. And then, uh, after that, we did that real quick. Like we, we knocked out like uh, a little mystery that was going on. And then, uh, I kind of insisted on, Hey, we need to go find this armor mm -hmm. and we need to, you know, and we go, we got the armor back. We got, you know, okay. now what happened after that? Cause 
Um, I had a weird, I, I disconnected from the universe after that. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what, uh, what happened after that, but I know that we had most of the pieces of the armor together, whether they left it with the guy or took it, or if they're walking around in it now, who knows what those fuckers are doing with it. So I've got they no probably idea, right? gave it all to one guy and he's sitting over there like, why do I have all the, Oh, I have it all now. Great. Cause well, I wasn't I there to heard... slap them in the face to tell them to stop being stupid. I've not heard anything about that situation. Oh, okay. So I can't comment. Who was it? Who were you with? Uh, Freddie and mm -hmm. The Rock. Okay. So Jacob, who knows yeah. what the fuck happened after that? Yeah, yeah, with those two. <laughs> Probably started selling people cinnamon for all I fucking know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they took it and put it in the Raven or... My vote is uh, my them. vote for what to do is Hong Kong. But I gotta step away for one second. Is a uh, call of nature. Just don't hold on. One that, yeah. The cinnamon challenge. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be as logical as anything else that happens with those guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Supply line for golden wattle. That's getting dealt with now. Better. Yeah. Uh, I've spoken to Freddie about. Starting to get trump cards hidden in zones so that we can use them when we're, especially when we're in other people's bodies. That would be lovely if that was followed through with. Yes, it would be. It's not something I have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, because not many people have enough money to do it, and that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Enough money to do what? To go to the different zones to actually make hidey holes. Uh, Oh, yeah, well, as I'd mentioned before, after five seasons, fuck them if they haven't got it done. Just suffer. I mean, I used to in the in the original zone, but then we just kept hopping zones, and then mm -hmm. that that went bye bye. Yes, uh, or they just kept inviting asshats to the places. Like, oh yeah, this is our joint, and then all the asshats come, and then no off, one's then it's Batman. rubble. Let's cut off Batman's head and leave it on your bed. <laughs> uh. So we've got things like halfway in, we've tried using the chalk and the chant, couldn't get it that way, but there might be any, it could be back up and going. We just have to try and get there a different way. So we've got it, something we can shadow walk to, or if it's, or if we have to take the boat again in the um, sewers to get there. And That's probably the best for you guys to go and not me to that? get back to the halfway in. Why is that? Because that was the reason why, like, I laughed in the guy's face, and he, that's, and he got all pissed off, and that's, he doesn't want to see me anymore, so. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I. Plus, like, As I know that's Roman, good for the the guy that was running the place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, yep. Yeah. Making more of the barbers' poles. Looks like some people started looking into that. So, did we? Did anybody ever get the barber pole that was in Burlington? I was told they'd retrieved it and brought it back here. However, there appears there's not two barber's poles in the thing, so what they've done with it, whether or not it's in someone's backpack. We could grab some limited scuba gear and shadow walk over there. So let me just... I think actually it was Freddie and The Rock who said they got it. And Let me just check. Yeah. Okay. So them them saying that they went and got something is like saying mm -hmm. that I gave my four year old a bag of cocaine yes, and yes. said, "Clean your room." <laughs> I'm now imagining this scene. Yeah. So Freddie said, kids covered in uh, white." Burlington, Burlington <laughs> appears to be anti magic zone now. 
if you have anything pocketed and you go there, it will disappear. We took the barber pole back to the embassy. That That's for sure that the magic is slowly going away to a lot of yeah. the zones. Yeah, and <clears throat> we assume it's because of the pattern being more powerful than the Lugris. The imbalance is causing that because it's putting or it's um you know putting order onto things um oh there's the jones johnstown hotel see if, how that's going but yes so there's plenty of things we could potentially do look into um so in regards to what you wanted you were to so one of the things I'm interested in looking into is this whole overfruster situation, but I'm not sure where we would go to look further into that. Well, if it's a if it's higher tech, that'd be probably something that we'd have to go to the newer yeah, highest yeah. tech area to go to, you know, and check it out there, see if anybody yeah. there would know what the fuck it is. However, we need to have a good contact there to, to like we don't want to whip out like some crazy, you know. Like, mm -hmm. oh, hey, mm -hmm. check this out. And, like, everyone's like. Yeah, exactly right. That's so. That way, like, yeah. over in, like, where? The the cyberpunk? No, Guri. Oh. The sci-fi oh. place. I don't know. Have you been there, Dr. Yang? Uh, I don't remember. It's, we, we call these places all different kinds of things, so I, I don't remember. It's, it's a sci-fi place. we got a spaceship there. Over there in Red Skies? Red skies, you're under like a giant asteroid. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I've been to that one. Okay. Is it the spaceship that we, that Doc had no. that we repaired? No. Okay. No, no that, that's was, destroyed. That, that one got cut in half when the Black Briar attacked the embassy to try and get the overthruster. That's the only issue about Guri is that's where Black Briar are. That's where they came from. The group that actually attacked the embassy were there. We chatted to them. They were quite happy to sell out the people that hired them if we gave them money because they they weren't particularly happy about the whole setup. Yeah, but fine. Space sounds cool. So there's that side of it as well. I mean, if you wanted to, if we if we wanted to check out Hong Kong. We could go to Boris and then use the gate that's in Boris that goes through to Hong Kong. If you're interested in checking out Hong Kong, doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, I heard that it was in trouble, but uh, I mean, I don't have any particular. I mean, like obviously the overthruster is like an overarching problem, so if we can make mm. some leeway on it. Yeah, it's probably but, better for everybody. Yeah. But I was thinking Guri would be potentially the place to go to try, unless unless we sh tried to shadow walk to a place that we could find more information about it. I mean, is the like what is it? I mean, is the overthruster a traditional tech, just way futuristic, or is it your guess is beyond it's futuristic? Down, <laughs> it's so you can travel to the fifth dimension, of course. Eighth, eighth dimension. Eighth dimension. Oh, I thought it was the fifth. My bad. Eight, that's no, okay. You, you, I think you might. Oh, we, first, maybe we need to become a band, I think, and then we need to get mm -hmm. a cool looking van mm -hmm. and a bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like the seven for eight dimension or whatever. I'm going to go dress in some 80s clothes. I'll be right back. Cool. <laughs> I think I got a chain wallet somewhere. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All you know about the overthruster is it is a powerful and mysterious artifact, and its yes. power is only exceeded by oh, its mystery. mystery. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I like asteroids and red skies and space. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. One, actually, is probably... It's the, probably the best way is to go to Sherma and then go to Clems in Sherma because that way, have either of you been to the Clems in Sherma before? Yes. Okay. What about you, Doc Fulton? The Clems in Sherma? Yes. Yeah. Discovered. Is it? Okay. So you're aware of the Clems in St. Louis then? 
you being yeah. beautiful. All right, I won't worry about it then. I was going to say, otherwise, we go there and so you guys know where it is. Um. All right, so in which case then we can activate the clems here and use that or, yeah. That'll take 24 hours to spin up, assuming that's, it works. That's right. Um, otherwise, we can trump to another like trump to another location and. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Unless one of you can shadow walk to a precise location. Well, I'm just not very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I can try. There's only one way to get better. Oh, by the way, Chris, I've taken the training wheels off of uh, shadow walking a bit more. So now if there's a failed shadow walking, I may still put you somewhere else. Mm. It may just suck ass. Is that because people are just shadow walking everywhere? No, I wanted to give them a little bit of time to uh, uh, work on it. And then with training times and stuff, everybody should be... Everybody, everybody now knows all the risks and stuff. I want to ease them into it, like a giant dildo into a anyway. Mm -hmm. So orifice, yes. Uh, Ooh, I I used do you guys have any skill plus cards? Mm -hmm. Well, I would let let me get changed and geared up first before we do this. I can play an assistant plus ten on you. Okay, oh. I think I have an assistant plus five too. All right, all right. So yeah, I get I get all my adventure gear on, and I put my stupid cameras on, and mm -hmm. I get changed and grab my gear. Uh, exactly no problem. That. You, you notice, Doctor Yang, that he's putting on like it looks like body cams, but whereas the cops just wear one in the front, he also has one in the back and one on each arm. Why all the cameras, Fulton? Because that's uh. That's a place. Gerd, is that what it's called? Gurry, I think. Gurry? Red Skies. So when you go to Red Skies, everybody has that shit on. So you know, they're, they're not active. They don't, they're not real. Like they're just cameras, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's too somewhere, ridiculous. somewhere is watching, I guess. I don't. Oh, I can bring my laser the, pistol. The, the, base, the basic model records locally. The high level models you can have record and they send it off. To be cased so that if you cameras get damaged or you get killed, there's still evidence of what happened elsewhere. Although I think uh, Doc Fulton's cameras don't actually record because he wants to be able to do certain deeds. <laughs> and dirt cheating. I was just going to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I I can bring my laser pistol. I think that'd be okay, right? Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, I've been uh, I've I've been thinking about the uh, different pistol skills and stuff like that. And pretty much what I'm starting to think is anything that's loosely pistol shaped would go under pistol skill. Anything loosely rifle shaped under rifle skill, because uh, honestly, uh, so hard. I know, right? And I, you can then move your points elsewhere mm. can i yeah i'd recommend uh looking into the new heavy weapon categories when we get those done it's the same as with the vehicle stuff when we did the vehicle stuff or you yeah, got multiple yeah. points in the same thing there was a post about in the forums you could reallocate them mm -hmm. see better mm. but like yeah. I, so then i need to put like so if i have pistol and then laser pistol I need to just put in the make the pistol skill the highest of the two and then strip away the base from the remaining one the mm -hmm. arm percentage or whatever and then stick that into I'd recommend like uh, a different kind of weapon pistol rifle shotgun uh, indirect howitzers whatever photon torpedoes I don't know. We haven't figured out all the heavy weapon category stuff. That's one of the things we're being worked on on the board. You might want to put your 
input on at your leisure, not now. The other thing we can do is we can take stuff there to trade and to remove debt off your cards. All right. Do either of you two still have debt on your card? Uh, since Dr. Young has not been there, he would well, not have a card yet. So. That's why I said you too. I mean, uh, well, does you they are specify both. which two you meant by you two. Well, I certainly didn't mean Dr. Yang twice, although he may get twice the debt and like it. Mm. No, I do not have any debt on my card. I'm in credit. Bolton? Hold on. Hello. Do you have debt? Would you like to consolidate? No, I don't. Cool. So it's all about saving Dr. Yang from a life of indentured servitude. Well, how much do you need? I don't have any idea. He oh, because when... Debt. We He's gotta go there. And... Yet. Yes. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make this happen. Because the other thing we can do is we can take our twenty odd chickens with us and trade them for mullah. Now there's a chicken farmer there that's not gonna be worth nearly as much. Oh okay, someone's bombing chicken. I have uh, six fingered silk gloves. Um if you guys have but what we could do is we went and got horses the other um the other okay. day and we rode horses through shadow and then ended up selling uh riding horses there oh, so nice. if you have murder if you have any money from Shermer, we can go to Shermer and then we can shadow walk on the horses to red skies mm -hmm. on the horses that's a really tricky uh tricky uh shadow walk to a specific place there if you've got the skill for that then you could definitely get the horses in but if you were to miss, then it's very, very likely, in your professional opinion, as having Shadow Walk lot, that you would all undergo resurrection. Mm -hmm. I know. That's 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 why I was asking for skill plus cards. Yeah. It wouldn't be like, oh, I missed this one. Let me try my second time at day. It's like, no. I'm sorry, your skin freezes and your blood boils simultaneously. You are dead. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks. Space. Oh, yeah. Space sucks ass. Now, if y'all had spacesuits, then only your horses would die, and wouldn't that be a question? If only I had a spaceship. Yes. That would be a big help. Mm -hmm. He just looks, glares at the camera. <laughs> that I painstakingly, for a month, pulled out of the sewers and rebuilt. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, it's still there. And they did offer to try to put the two halves back together using... The equivalent of super glue, although it's old west style. Well, like what exactly? How how is it split in half with what? Uh, yeah, I'm really um, chain gunfire. Well, I'll go look at it. It look it looks like McKay is right. It look just imagine a really heavy machine gun and somebody putting some time and effort into going. Do, do, do. And now imagine he brought a lot of buddies with him. They all went do, 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 and just in half. Um, your guess, looking at it, uh, uh, does anybody have ballistics, forensic ballistics? We all do. Cool, everybody roll it. Well, look at it this way. You can get a check and learn there, Yang. Ooh. Nope. Close. No, not close. Okay. You put your finger into one of the miscellaneous bullet holes. This looks like a bullet hole to you. Pretty sure. Um, so yeah, it, it's just, uh, it, it's been pretty well cut in half. I mean, is it salvageable? Maybe. I mean, it'd be super hard, but uh, you know, you just put in there a few months into it, maybe. Yay. Yeah. So the good news is nobody's living in it anymore like they were for a while there. Well, it's holy now, so why? Why would they want to? That's the, yeah, maybe they'll turn it into some sort of holy temple. Mm -hmm. The beatings will start soon. <laughs> anyway, so we could go do that if you want. And then we, you know, would give us some credits for Red Skies. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, 
Or we uh, just go there and, and not give fucks and be like, we're here. What, what's the system? I mean, like, is it in like debilitating? Like, if you go there and get to your stupid debt card, like they won't let you do anything, or how does that work? Well, no, I have a little bit of I have a little bit of credit, so I like we can go there and get you set up. But I don't know if you guys needed extra money or. I've got about two grand credit on my card at the moment, and a trade, and I also have a trader's license. Yeah, I have a trader's license, and I have forty five hundred. So, like, we can go there, and we can get you, you know, you know, in the black. Yeah, yeah so. let's, I'd like to do that. I mean, uh, the more places where I can go to and not be immediately criminalized would be good. Okay. Well, we could, let's let's just go there then. Let's not worry mm -hmm. about horses and craziness. You don't want to take uh, some cash on the hoof? Uh, well, since I don't know how to bargain with anybody because no one has regular stores anymore, everywhere is like India. So, um, I can. Hello, hello. hello. How are you? No I, one I've just got, buys and sells shit. So. I've gotten I've gotten fairly okay at bargaining. What's uh What's valuable over there? In Guri, horses. livestock. That's it. Hence why we're talking about like, chickens and horses. I think we sold ours for like 15 a piece. Wow. So from when when I was previously there, uh, gold was originally uh, one gram, about 10 credits, but it's gone, it had gone down to a sell of four credits by seven credits. Uh, Well-crafted jewelry they are interested in. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Was about ten thousand credits. A cow was six thousand credits. Oh. Chickens were five hundred credits, and goats were a thousand credits. So that's why we were taking chickens because they're easy to transport via clamps, and you can get take multiple of them. That's but unfortunately, they gave them both male and female chickens. So yes. Yeah, so somebody yeah. didn't take just chickens by the sounds of it. I got some swords. I don't know if they'll be particularly interested in that. Yeah, yeah. They're from Cyberpunk, so they're yeah. my weapons, but I mean I just got my people to sell one. Yeah, yeah. You might be able to. It's just yeah, it because of the because it's an asteroid. I mean water's worth uh ten credits a litre. Um, they don't seem to care about the quality of it. So, like, we took fresh yes. spring water there to see whether or not, because it's more pure, if it'd make a difference. It didn't make any difference. Um, I get uh, silk gloves. They have six fingers on them. 